everyone. It's me, Scott. You know that guy that you occasionally stumble across here on YouTube? Well, I figured in this particular video, I owe it to all of you out there that are simply wanting to do something similar like what you see behind me here. You know, Mr. Myers. I've actually had this guy, the body itself, the general aspect of this, for a good uh, five years now. And I'm telling you, it's not what you think. Yeah, it looks like your typical mannequin. Sure, some of it is, some of it's not. Since I've seen people has asked me on Facebook, YouTube, how did I do this? How did I do that? Now, yeah, it's nothing really that special here. So I figured, you know what? I'm actually gonna show you guys exactly what's underneath this mask and what's underneath these coveralls. I know Mike, he's a little, we've been debating on this, but you know what? He wants to give you, I guess you could say the full Monty. So sit back, relax, and you get to actually see what's truly behind all this. Yeah, I know, it's pretty disturbing. I mean, how often are you gonna see a Michael Myers look this sad? Not Nothing against, of course, the NHK, but I'm just, yep, this is it. This is, uh, this is just obviously a third. No, I'm not even, th I'm not even doing math right now, but this is just part of what you have seen, obviously, a third. What the heck was I thinking? A part of what you have seen in a full-sized Michael Myers that I've had over there and then my old place as well. So let's start with obviously at the top, the mask itself. The NHK, the Nicholas Hardware, which I have done other videos on before. So this is what I have chosen for my Michael in the corner. Um, one of the reasons why, me personally, I like the way it looks over there. It's, for me, it's perfect. It's all personal preference, of course. That and, of course, this particular mask, I've noticed a 25, a size 25 inch, you know, mask with this particular torso, I think life-size, it just seems more realistic, I, I guess is the best way to put it. A 24, it looks too small. So if you do decide to do something like this or even a full-size mannequin, you may, it's gonna be your personal preference anyway. So really, it really matters how your eye sees it. So for me, that's a couple reasons why, of course, why I naturally want to have my uh, Nicholas Hardware NHK on this particular full size. It just, for me, it fits perfectly. Of course, now we go to this. What's disturbing? Yes, there are no legs. No legs. Parts, parts of legs. Of course, as you can tell, my Michael is black. Yes, butt and all, if you could see. Um, <laughs> yes. Um, I just went to a Walmart, got some paint for the flesh tone. Of course, there's some scratches right there, but you can't tell anyways, because I've got, you know, the mask covering it. This is just an old t-shirt I had laying around. In fact, I kind of zip tied it in the back there to kind of tighten up the chest there a little bit. But yes, I got this uh, for free. Um, I was fortunate enough, I guess you could say, to be at the right place at the right time. There was a business that was closing. So I was fortunate enough, like I said, to be at the right place at the right time and I was able to get this for free. That being said, if you are interested in doing something like this yourself on a budget, keep that in mind. You're gonna go to maybe thrift stores. Now, if you live around this general area that I live in, Dayton, Ohio, go check out Mendelssohn's. You know exactly what I'm talking about, located in downtown Dayton. They've got tons of these down there, but however, Keep one thing in mind, the prices are not always that great. So you may as well just go on Amazon or eBay and find something like this at a reasonable price. Um, I have seen these new for like $25 to $35. So there you go. Let's say you spend $35 on something like this, okay? Now you're thinking, well, how, now if you're want, this is of course, if you're wanting to do a full body or full life size Michael Myers, and this is me showing you an economy way of doing it. Like I said, you may just come across something like I did. You got it for free because they were going out of business, thrift stores, whatever. Just check them out as well. Or you never know, you might see it like at a garage or yard sale. There's that too. So we've got this, we've got this. Well, how the hell do we have the arms attached? Well, I was running into a situation there. Well, with the coveralls, you don't really need to show any arms. So therefore, my arms are actually a coat hanger. Yes, a plastic left hand that I actually bought 
years back at that Foy's that I showed you in the video. These were really inexpensive, but it was an issue when I recently purchased the Halloween 2 butcher's knife, and I'll show you what I did with that. Um, and I'll show you how what I did with this for the right hand. Um, it was it's not perfect, but for the time being, it'll do. So yeah, I'll show you guys the legs. Now you're gonna probably freak out or laugh when you see the legs. So hold on just a second. All right, here's his legs. Yep. This right here is just a basic cheap old bar stool. I kid you not. Kind of tilt it your way. See? The bust, what you see, simply sits right on top there. I don't screw it on or anything. Obviously, as you can tell, here's the coveralls. This is just padding that I use to try to fill it out a little bit. Not to mention with the uh, wire hanger, with between the combination of this being in the sleeves and that, I'm able to basically form an arm. And of course, like I said, here is the other hand that's still in there. Basically the same thing, a wire hanger. I actually, that one's a little bit longer. I actually have two of them because I have, the reasoning why is because, well, I'll, you'll see here in the final or in the beginning how I've got them holding, I just needed some extra strength. So I have two wires that is technically holding up this uh, hand right here. And uh, like I said, I will show you how I did this. Sorry, I will show you how I did this. Very simple. Sorry, it's actually holding up part of my microphone wire right now. But yeah, um, that was, uh, I was debating on, well, what I'm gonna show you here in, in a couple minutes, on if I should do this or not. But then again, I figured, you know what, why not? I didn't spend that much on these hands in the first place. So there you have, it. oh yeah, by the way, I know these aren't movie accuracy and neither is everything else about the Michael Myers that I have, but these are the shoes that I use. I basically just set these legs into the uh, shoes. And you're probably thinking, wait a minute, okay, let's get back to the legs once again, the bar stool. Well, all I did, I purchased this bar stool, actually a couple of them years ago. These were like $9 each. Um, you can pretty much find these anywhere. These are just basic bar stools. And to strengthen the fact that these were two legs, I just took some two by fours and uh, I was afraid to split it. So I actually just taped it. And you know, obviously there's all other types of tools you can use, but yeah, that's what I use for his legs. And it actually is proportionally right between that bust, which is on the floor right now, and these legs, everything is proportionally right. Even when the hands are down low, I kind of stand in front of it a few times just to see if it's right. Sure enough, it is. So yeah, that's how I have my life-size Michael Myers, you know, in the corner, other than what you see right now. Um, it's very disturbing. I'm, I know I'm seeing Michael like this is kind of depressing and sad, but thank God in 2018, we are actually going to have a new Halloween movie. And I know all of you know exactly what I'm talking about because they have been posting it like crazy here lately. I'm very excited. I'm very pumped up. This seems like this is going to be well, you know what? I'll shut up. I don't want to jinx that. I could jinx this, but I'm not going to jinx what we hope to see in 2018. Just check out what John Carpenter says there. Uh, uh, he, it's a, yeah. So yeah, I'm going to shut up. I'll show you the rest of how I did the hand with the knife and everything else. That, and I got to put this back together because this is really making me sad. Actually, before I do shut up, if you guys have any questions about what I did here further along, please feel free to leave it down there in the comment section. Or if you have any suggestions that uh, maybe I could possibly create the situation even better. Down the road, I'm thinking, I, I, I actually wouldn't mind getting a full body mannequin because I've seen them on eBay. At a at a, compared to what I've been spending already, it isn't a reasonable price. Uh, so yeah, if you're not sure what I'm talking about, just type in male mannequin on eBay there alone. You'd be surprised. I've seen him some decent ones for under $120. I kid you not. I mean, then again, you got to figure how much did I spend on all this right here? Well, set aside the mask, the NHK. I'm not going to talk, discuss the prices on that because out of respect for the maker, I'm not going to do that on my channel here. Um, uh, so yeah, basically what I've spent here. Nine bucks on a bar stool that I basically destroyed to make legs, obviously. The coveralls, I got at a thrift store. They, they were less than $10. The shoes, well, I, those were, 
I don't, I can't even remember how much this cost. I had this years ago. The hands, they were like five bucks at Foy's. The wire coat hanger, well, I don't, okay, we'll say a dollar or 50 cents. Uh, the knife itself has been an average, I think you can even see it on the, uh, on Tot's website. So you can figure that out. What is it, 14, I don't know. But anyways, this is about the mannequin itself. The bust, yes, I got for free, but like I said, you can go to eBay. Let's round it off. Let's say, let's say it's $35 for the bust. Um, the hands, let's say they were they were $10, so that's $45 there. The coveralls, it was $10. So we got $35, $45, $50 right there. $60 bucks is what I spent on my life-size Michael Myers. Maybe less than that. So if you are interested in doing something like this yourself, use this as an idea. I don't know, who knows, maybe you could come across something even a better idea than what I did. But you know what? As I put it together years ago, I was pretty impressed with it myself. Oh yeah, I forgot the paint. I, that was not even five bucks there that I used to put on the torso there, on the neck. Um, but yeah, that's it. Like I said, if you got any questions, please feel free to to leave them comments or whatever down there in the comment section and I'm gonna show you guys what I did with the hands real quick because I obviously did that already. I, I kind of pre-recorded that part already. So yeah, I gotta put this back together. It's disturbing the hell out of me. Yeah, I don't like seeing Michael like this. It looks like he exploded. <laughs> Fur guts and all. Fur, fur guts. <laughs> it's like Michael Myers meets the uh, Peter Cottontail. Well, as you can tell, I have a pot there in the background, just boiling some water. Oh, help me. No, I just took the right hand, it's a hard plastic, and I dipped it into this boiling water, I don't know, a half a dozen times, if not more, just to soften the fingers enough. Not too much, because I'm thinking instinctively, if I have it in this boiling water way too long, that I may melt off the fingers or possibly deform them. Uh, like I said, this was just me giving it a shot because I realized I didn't spend that much on this hand. Of course, it comes worse. I got to go back and purchase another one. So yeah, I just dipped it in the boiling water a few times. And I just curled it up in my other hand, obviously. It wasn't that hot, really, with the towel. And after I formed it, oh, I don't know, maybe half a dozen times there to where it kind of curled up enough as if it was holding a knife. See, as you can see, I'm dipping it again here in the boiling hot water, thumb and all, just trying to do whatever I could to soften it up, but yet not get it too soft where I lost a finger in that water. And uh, yeah, as you can see there, it's starting to bend a little bit. Now the middle finger itself has a little different bend because the wire itself, I actually have it going all the way to the uh, middle finger there. So it actually acts, as it's cooled off, it actually has a better hold on the uh, Halloween 2 knife there. And uh, yeah, see, come on, focus. I love that lens, but boy, does that have a hard time focusing. You see, it's a little crooked there, but that's no big deal. I can adjust it easily. So yeah, that's all I did. I did it, uh, like I said, maybe half a dozen times, if not more. And as it was drying up, as it was hardening back to its normal um, temperature, I actually had that hand curled up like I had some weight on it I actually was trying to find something what could I do to put on the hand here to hold it down and I actually set some heavy books on top of it so yeah that, that's all I did and uh, granted it's not perfect but you know for five bucks I can't beat it